pack 20. I totally forgot to do it before I built. <laughs> Transporting the main anchor of the Titanic took 20 horses. No, you didn't. <laughs> All right, stop. Funnel time. <laughs> well, there you are, Perry. <laughs> we are going to build a funnel. Get some. They're already trying to run away because they know this is where <laughs> it breaks. This guy. That there. Trying to run away hardcore. Well, darn. We already have to use our little Perry. Shoot. No more Perry de Platypus. <laughs> Can't make it simple, huh? Oh, but we don't want to snap them in all the way. Not snapped in yet. This is a super colorful step. Look at all those colors. And we got reds, not in all the way. Okay. Looks on the picture like it's hanging over on the back, but it's not. I think I'm just mostly confusing myself. Booty bricks. We got a lot of booty bricks this bag. Square right there. Square right there. This is a cool one, and we're going right there with it. This side gets white instead. Eventually, we'll push those in. Another phone. Oh, no! The most pieces that I have dropped in the process of building, I can only assume it's because it knows that we're building the part that breaks. Four booty bricks for this. <laughs> Four booty bricks for this step. Yeah. After the impact, distress signals did go out, but no ship was near enough to make it before the sinking. Now let's smooth it all out. The SS Burma estimated its arrival to be 6 a.m. The SS Californian did not respond despite having seen the flares and being the last ship in contact. Another booty brick action. Oval on the booty. Red. Opal on the red. No hair. Center stud. And on our red end, we do two marigold. And we start our funnel. This is the start of the funnel. Now let's get it right this time. We're not going to put the black in the middle <laughs> like the first one. Oops. Hufflepuff lightsabers! Yeah! <laughs> Can't help it. I love it. Oh, look at the colors. They match up so nicely when you don't put the black in the middle on accident. <laughs> in the hole. And then these guys slide over the black hole and snap on. Like that. So we go in that. Push down around and attach. Fabulous. Now for these dudes. Arr. I'm gonna unwrap our lovely strings. There we go. In between the studs, like that. Okay, so we're gonna put it there on the other side, like that. In the picture, it shows them on opposites. Our next black part and the top. Okay, upside down. And another red. And 
this cool one with the loop or the hole. And then we'll put this red one by the red. This lovely dude at an angle and we're gonna slide the green and orange through the gray and red. You can see it kind of sliding in place right in that gap. See that hole? Yes. Next one. Yes. Wonderful. Put it in here and attach to a few spots with the bottom. Now these are going to attach to this one and this one. Pokey pokey. This one and this one. Very nice. Another little contraption for our funnel area. Let's make sure we keep it the right orientation. Because if you flip it around, you're bound to put something in the wrong place. And that's no good. Nope. So go in the middle. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. And we have one little red hook that's gonna hook on to that little brown bar. Ready? Nice. Now we hokey pokey. And I'll put the smaller hole. Smooth it out. Ta-da! And this smaller one goes in this smaller hole. And there's a bar down there. These little arms will hold the lifeboats in. Or at least makes it look like they're holding them in. Speaking of lifeboats, that is what we are building right now. Actually, we go on top. And there's a lifeboat. We need three more of these. Ta-da! This is the last bit to the bag. Lifeboats near the hooks. Just like that. We finished bag 20. We got some lifeboats hanging off the edge and a funnel. So many pieces tried to escape. I think they maybe knew their fate.